All right, fourth video, you should know that I'm just learning how to make a Nuxt project, use biome, use test utilities that are idiosyncratic with Nuxt. I'm reading the content, I'm reading the docs, and I'm just recording as I go. So don't expect that I'm an expert here. Don't expect that I'm going to pretend to know all the answers. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm hitting barriers and then I'm having to read docs. You're not going to have to like, watch me read the docs because I have an editing tool that allows me to you know, snip all that boring stuff out. But this is the fourth video. In this video, I'm going to learn how to use B-Test to test the app or the test a, a view component or a Nuxt component, I guess. It's a view component in a Nuxt environment. Uh, here we go. Just to recap, in the first video, I wrote, uh, I, I created a Nuxt project and wrote our first uh, vtest test. Then I improved the setup of vtest for Nuxt environments. Then I just finished a video where I, I set up and I configured biome, which is pretty cool. Now I'm going to learn how to test a view component or HTML page. Uh, so basically, I like to have tests. I like to test drive wherever I, whenever I can, I find that when I'm learning a new tech, it's actually difficult to test drive because I have to be reading documents. I'm copying a bunch of code. I'm testing it that way. Here we go. You can watch as I do this, but I, I like to have a test that describes every behavior in the system. And uh, sometimes I can do that at the UI level. How does the UI behave? Is there an interaction or is there some sort of content or component? in the UI and I can use a test sometimes just to confirm that that thing exists. And uh, let's let's start. So I was reading the nux.com docs and found this little snippet here which is very helpful. I, I've read the other the, the rest of the page as well, but I'm going to steal this little snippet and and then we're going to talk through it and I'll tell you how how it all works. So on my local host, I don't yet have nuxt running, but I will soon. Here we go. In my tests folder, what I'm going to do is create a new file here. I'm going to call it app.nuxt.test.ts. And I'm going to paste that code in there from the website. I'm going to get the test runner going. And I know that what we're going to see here is a bunch of mess. We're going to just going to see the test will fail. It's, it's really ugly. But look, it's actually doing something. It's grabbing HTML content from from the Nuxt app. And uh, I, I've also determined that I don't need this route. So I'm going to remove that and keep everything very, very simple here. I'm going to cut out the comments. Just note that I've got it and expect from vtest. This utility here called mount suspended from the test utils runtime. And I'm importing the app. Uh, so this is the, the, the view component or view it's not a component. What do they call it? It's like a layout. But the app, let's go look at the file. Because the app has a router, a Nuxt route announcer, which I don't know what that is yet. And it has a welcome message. And if I were to run this in a browser, let's do that now. I'll go pdev. P is an alias that I use for PNPM because I'm using PNPN. And here we go. Nuxt is starting on uh, in in my browser. And as soon as there we go. So Nuxt, my app is now running. So the Nuxt welcome message is that that whole thing, I guess. And uh, the Nuxt road announcer. Not sure what that is. So I'll figure that out later. Let's write a test to confirm that the welcome message exists. So here in my test file. I'm going to, I don't like the word it. It makes more sense to me. The word describe just makes more sense to me in terms of syntax and meaning. So I'm going to describe the home page content, let's say, and uh, create a component where I mount the app in a suspended mode. Is that what that means? I'm learning. Expect the component HTML to match this inline snapshot. And of course it doesn't match that snapshot. So I'm going to remove this. I know that that's not what I should expect. And in fact, I don't want to copy all of the HTML code. So I'm just going to do something simpler. I'm going to say, I, I presume that there's a contain. There we go. So 
it'll contain welcome to Nuxt with an exclamation. And this should pass. It doesn't pass. Why not? No tests found in the suite. Oh, right. I do need the it. My bad. So I'll say it has a welcome message. And I'll move these into that block. And now the test passes. Look at that. So the home page content has a welcome message. We expect that the HTML contains welcome to Nuxt. And of course it does. Well, there it is. Now, we've created this test, but let's make sure that the test fails in a way that we should expect it would fail. So I could break the test a couple of ways. Let's go to the uh, app file and just hide the welcome message. And notice now in the terminal window that the that everything fails. So welcome to Nux. Oh, and look, here's the Nux route announcer. Let's zoom into that and find out what that's all about. So it's an it's absolutely positioned. It's it's clipped though so that we don't see it. It's only one pixel high, one pixel wide. I don't know what the route announcer is intended to do. I suppose I could do another test later and see if that uh, span exists just to confirm that it's there. Why would I do that? Well, because I want to, I should, I should expect my test suite should describe everything about the app. So if I read the tests, descriptions of the tests, for example, I should know, hey, that there's a route announcer and that there's a welcome message. Later, I would do a footer. There's a footer. There's a blog article. There's a, just to confirm that these things load, that the page does in fact load. I might use, I don't know if Storybook can do this or if VTest can do this, but I might test uh, page load time and form interaction. But for now, let's keep it simple. So the, not, the welcome message exists. Now the test will pass. There's another way I can confirm that this thing fails in just the right way is I could I could misspell this. I could say welcome to next and of course it fails again because that text does not exist on the page anywhere. Welcome to next. I think that this is a minimal but useful test and now let's get rid of that welcome message. So the way I would do this it uh, it does not have a welcome message. And I would say not to contain. The test currently fails because, in fact, it does contain it. Go back to my app view. Get rid of the welcome message. Everything's great. Because I'm going to build my own welcome message and modify the home page as I want. Uh, so I don't need that content. And I've just test driven the removal of that content. Let's go back to the test. The test is now passing. And now I can actually get rid of the test. <laughs> it's kind of goofy. But there we have it. Everything's working as I intend. I'm enjoying this. Good to go. Removed boilerplate stuff from home page. Commit, sync that change. And now, by the way, I would get rid of this whole test. It doesn't serve a purpose anymore. And uh, I've, I've test driven the removal of the content or the component. And I can now delete the test permanently and uh, clean up test. Thanks for watching. I don't know what I'll do next, but uh, it'll be my fifth video on this project. We'll see what I do. Maybe I'll dig into that Nuxt route announcer and learn more about that. Bye for now.